Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Okay, I'm <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. I thought that I wasn't in mute. <laughs> oh, good evening, Pete. Good evening. <laughs> yeah. Teacher, I didn't know that milk is ordeñar. Oh, yeah, it's the action too. And water, regar. Yes, you water the plants, you milk a cow. <laughs> That's right. When I when I realized I was like ah, I didn't know it. You milk milk from a cow. <laughs> just just cow. <laughs> well, or a goat. You milk milk from a goat. Um maybe so many other animals. <laughs> Probably. The, the common is a cow. <laughs> cow. Yeah, a cow. You plant a plant. <laughs> Do. You plant a plant. Uh huh. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know that we have a lot of um, vocabulary in that. Uh, well, for when you formulate something like. You plant a plant. Mm -hmm. You are water of flower, flowers. Water of flower, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like my, my mind is open right now. <laughs> yeah, we always learn something new. Yeah, that is important. We are we are six now. Um by the moment yes. Okay, it is time to start. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so right now we are. Yeah, six with me. Okay, let's wait for the rest. But let me share the screen. Because we want to start with this.
Okay. Uh, I think you did this exercise. Just let's check it together. And I better go to WhatsApp here because it's easier for me to read the sentences here and see you all on the screen. Okay, who wants to start with number one, with cows, cows and milk? Me, teacher. Okay, <laughs> okay, Jasmine, read the sentence. Cows please. are milked, okay, cows are milked on the farm every day. Excellent, very good. Okay, Jasmine, pass the ball to someone else. Hector Misael. Okay, Hector. Letters okay, delivered. Uh, letters delivered on Tuesday. Mm. Tuesday, sorry. There is, there is something missing, Hector. Ah, yes. Letters, letters were delivered. Yeah. Mm, this, is no, yeah. this is simple present. Passive voice and simple present. Uh, okay. There is um. There is R. Uh huh. Delivered on Tuesdays. Exactly. Yes. Letters are delivered okay. on Tuesdays. Good. Next, please. Okay, you Hector, pass the ball. Shoot. To Fernando Ramos. Fernando. Okay, I, I don't know what are you doing, but I, I can I can imagine because I had problems yesterday with my wife. I got apples are gathered in summer. Okay, great. Very good. Okay, you have problem with your wife? <laughs> My Wi-Fi, yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm teasing you. Okay. You're fooling me. <laughs> Pass the ball, please, Fernando. Okay. Uh, Mireya. Mireya. Eggs. are painted at Easter. Yes, very good, very good. Okay, let's continue. Pass the ball, Mireya. Okay, to Javier Canales. Javier, bread. Hello, Javier. Hello. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello. Center, uh, Bread. 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 Bread is baked in the morning. Yes, and it's delicious. Fresh bread. Okay, Javier, pass the ball. Hi there. Where is Hi okay. 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 Children please take to the park every Sunday. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Children please take to the park every Sunday. Hmm. Mm. There is a little bit a little problem there. Let's children are Ah, children, children are. Remember that children is plural. What is the singular for children? What child. is the child? Yes. Uh -huh. Child. Yes. And what is the past participle of take? Ide? 
You remember? Taken. 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 Yes, taken. Okay. So, children, can, can you repeat the whole sentence I did now? Children are taken to the park every Sunday. Yes, that's right. Very good. Thanks. Okay, I did. Shoot to someone else. Um, Claudia O. Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Are you there? Uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> One moment. Uh, flowers. Flowers, yes. Flowers are um, watered. Yes. Okay, uh, pronunciation, watered. Watered. Watered, okay. Flowers are watered once a day. Yes, very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Claudia, pass the ball. Karen, Mariela. Karen, Karen, where's Karen? Karen, are you there? Karen at one. Karen at two. She's a. Uh huh, Karen. You rose your hand, but problem with your mic? Yes, okay. Okay, someone else, Claudia. Um, Sahira. Okay. Así. O así se pronuncia. Okay. I don't Sahira know. Zaira. Zaira. Um, Zaira. They are celebrating May. Um, it's singular. Okay. Mother's Day is celebrating May. Mm, celebrate or celebrated? Celebrating. Yeah, celebrated. Celebrated. Yeah, celebrated. Okay. And the last one, pass the ball, Zaira. Okay. For uh, Andrea. Andrea, where's Andrea? Okay, Andrea, no, the last one, please. meeting is held at 7 a.m. in the office. Excellent. Very good. Held. Okay. Any question with this exercise, people? No? Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's continue now. I have another exercise to practice this. Let me share the screen with you. Uh, teacher, sorry, I, uh -huh. I have one question. Okay, so. Uh, what, when you have to use by and when you don't have to use? Okay, a by phrase is when you need to mention who did the action, yeah? Okay. For example, uh, the Mona, Lisa, the, oh, okay. the Mona Lisa was painted by, yeah, Da Vinci, da Vinci. Okay. okay, thank you. The Mona Lisa was painted by da, Vin da Vinci. So when you need to mention the performer of the action, that is when we use a by phrase. And I always use him past verb to be, like was and were. No, necessarily, because you could say, imagine, you could say, cows are milked on the farm every day by the farmer. Oh, yeah, okay. So present. I can use in present and past. Yes, when you need to mention, when it is necessary to mention the performer of the action, so you use a by phrase. 
Okay. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Richard. Very good. Thanks. Okay. Any other question? Aha. Uh -huh. I can hear you very well. Tell me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Javier. I cannot hear you very well. Robert, you have you have problem with your microphone, Javier, probably. Yes. Hello? Now yeah, it's now. now it's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we use the the um, pass, uh, passive voice with with another tenses, for example, in future? Yes. Yes. For example, you want to say, okay, the cake for the party will be done or will be baked by my sister. See? Oh, okay. Future. Okay. Okay. Yes, we can use it. Sure, I have a question. <laughs> so, or I have an, uh, a conclusion. Uh, uh, you can say me if it is right. So it it depends on the importance uh, of the um, of a subject. We can mention uh, in the case of by by phrase. Yes, when when it is necessary. Not, not for not example the. For example, the, the, the example uh, that you gave us, uh, you are talking uh, about of, of Da Vinci. So Da Vinci is a famous person, yeah? So it depends on the importance of the, of the subject. We can mention, you, you can put it the, the action. The performer, exactly. Sometimes oh, it's not necessary. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So for okay, example, thank you. you Usually, it won't be necessary to say cows are milked by the farmer. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cows are uh -huh. milked every day. So. Yeah. Okay. Very okay. good. Thank you. Let's see. There's another exercise where um, you have to choose if the passive voice is with simple past or with simple present. Okay. You have to read the sentence very well and you have to decide if you need, if it is necessary, if the sentence must be done with simple past or with simple present. Okay? Uh, here okay. it says passive without by, but not always. Okay, let me, let me raise this. This is not necessary. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna share this on, on WhatsApp in order that you um, can do it, okay? Let me see here, here. Okay. It's very similar, but remember here you have to, you know, you're going to need to uh, to do it in simple past or in simple present. Okay. And now let me break the room into small groups. Okay. Okay, please join the small groups and work on that exercise together, okay? And then we will come back to share your answers. Saira, can you join the your group, please?
There are students waiting for you, Zaira. Zaira. I don't have a problem with my internet. You can I see. Please. You have two sessions now. Okay. Can you close the other session? No, and oh, in Spanish, are... me, me sacó del sistema y volví a entrar nuevamente. Oh, pero bueno, okay. Te agrego entonces. Acá. Ok. In, in I called to help with I, the paperwork by my friend. I called. I was called I was to called. help. I was called. I was called. I think. I was called to help with the paperwork by my friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was called. 
Hello, teacher. Hello. I have one question. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the second one is this picture are or where? Excuse me. I didn't send the picture to WhatsApp or? Yes, uh, ah, yeah. my question is about the verb. Is Sorry. where are or where? Present or past? Which one? The second. Number two. Aha. Uh -huh. This picture. What? You want to know if it is present or past? Yes, yes. Yes. Hmm. These pictures during our last Christmas. Yes. It's past. Were taken. Yes. Were taken. Right? Yes, it's Yeah. Well, what is the past yeah. participle of take? Taken. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, go back to number six. Yes. See you later. Be you Thank thanks. you. <laughs> Thank you. Be English is spoken by many people in Mali. Mm -hmm. And the last one, the chocolate cake. Is it? Was eaten, oh, we what? can use what was yeah. eaten by the children, and we can use is to eaten. Yeah. Is we can and use both. what? In this case, I think we can use both. Uh huh. And, and well, we have finished. <laughs> Yeah, if you want, we can. Ah, here's the teacher. I can't even realize. <laughs> okay. okay. We we were discussing, teacher, because mm -hmm. we think sometimes in, I don't know, two sentences or three sentences, we can use three. both, both mm -hmm. times. Simple person and simple past. Okay. Yeah. But I, I have a question. Uh -huh. in, a, in a formal conversation, for example, if you are with native speakers or you are in a formal conversation, for example, uh, in, in the work, normally you don't use passive voice. Um, yes, yes. Yeah, even, even though um, if you read the news, when you read the news, usually the person who's telling you the news is in passive. They are using passive. Yeah, but in, uh, in case of news, or for example, if you are book, if you are reading a book yeah. or article, but I, 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 mean, I mean, in in a, in a normal conversation with someone, is yeah, in English is very uh, common. It's very common. Uh -huh. I have heard in call centers is usually they use this. For yes. example, when somebody hasn't paid the the bill, for don't to don't be uh, grosero. I don't remember how do you say grosero. Rude. The, rude. They usually use passive voice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're right. It's very very formal. Very nice. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to check another group. Okay. You can practice reading the sentence, yeah, we're, taking turns. We're going, okay. we're going to practice. Okay, see you later. Thanks. Um, I don't know the, the adverb or adjective. I don't know. Uh, because the, the verb is done, is, is to. But has house worries like the 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 job that Margaret has. Uh -huh. So it says 
all the housework is done by Margaret. Right? Or not? A teacher, hello. No, no teacher. <laughs> I didn't see, I didn't see you. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so I think that I am down. Okay, any question? Any problem? Well, uh, just in, in the number uh, five, mm -hmm. I think that you can use the two forms, uh, present and and past, uh, because, but I don't know, uh, because it says, I was called to help with paperwork by my friends, or I am called to help with paperwork by my friends. I don't, uh, find the, the sense uh, i think it's better the past form the past form yeah because you don't say i am called uh to help with paperwork for my friends um it sounds better with possible past simple past because they call you and they okay. ask you for help yeah okay okay okay, okay thank you Okay, we're good. See you. I'm going to visit another one. Air and regular bear, and also including the past participle. Yes. Did you finish? Yes, I finished. Uh, yes. We finished. Okay, yes. any question, any problem? No, teacher. Okay. In my case, no. Okay. Well, please take turns to read the sentence one by one to practice the pronunciation, okay? While the other groups finish. All right? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Who's leaving? Ah, okay. <laughs> I <Okay>. see you. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> okay. Are you done with this? Any question? Any problem? No. No. Yet. No. I did. No, no? no, teacher. No. Okay. Not yet. Yeah. Good. Okay. Please practice reading the sentences one by one. Read aloud to practice the, the pronunciation. Okay. 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 I'm about to call you back. I'm gonna visit another group. See okay. You. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Did you finish? We have done. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. Any question? Any problem? No. I think everything is okay. Okay. Great. Okay. See you then. Okay. See okay, you. Okay, teacher.
Okay, welcome back. Good, let's check your work. Okay. Let me start with um, Jose, Jose Mariano. Can you read number one, please? Okay, Romeo and Juliet was written by Shakespeare. Yes, excellent. Ana Gloria, number two. Your microphone, Ana Gloria. We can hear you. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. These pictures were taken during our last Christmas. Okay, good. Uh, let me ask now to Jennifer. Okay, number three. Other reports were typed by the secretary. Yes, very good. Next, please, um, Elisa. Number four. Four. The, the garbage, garbage uh -huh. is collected every day. Yes, good. Now, please, uh, Gabriela. I was called to help with the paperwork by my friends. Okay, very good. Next, uh, Alexander. Mm -hmm. the, the email was sent to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, was sent to you two hours ago. Good. Now, next, um, let me see. Okay, Fernando. Okay, the advertisement is placed in a newspaper. Okay. Um, the ne next, um, Jasmine. It was the eighth right. The statue. The statue, the statue of Liberty. Uh -huh. The statue of Liberty is seen by a lot of tourists. Okay. Um, Mireya, the housework. All the housework is done by Margaret. Okay. Um, Karen, English. It's okay, English. Are spoken by many people in Malta? Mm, English is singular. English is spoken. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's spoken yeah. by many people in In Malta, yes. Okay, and finally, the chocolate cake to Vanessa. The chocolate was eating by the children. Yes, very good, very good. Now, uh -huh. I have a question. In uh, the, okay. what is the pronunciation uh, greeted or greeted in, in the verb? Mm. Romeo and Juliet ah. was greeted. No. Written. 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 No, written. Ten. Written. Written. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And uh, I have a question, another question with the, um, the advertisement. Mm -hmm. Was or is placed? Yeah. Was placed or is, is placed? 
Actually, for me, it it's back. Mm -hmm. It could be, but it, it has more sense for me in past. Was placed. Yeah. Okay. For me, it's T-shirt. Thank you. you. If that action is happening, well, maybe, but. Uh, T-shirt. Okay. Uh -huh, I have a question. Okay. Uh, in all, I see, for example, the verb is in past, but we use in present. Uh, for example, mm -hmm. everybody use, uh, for example, the Statue of Liberty. Uh -huh. Uh, we so we use mm -hmm. see, but we use was. See mm -hmm. is another verb. No. We can se conjuga or no. The Statue of Liberty is seen. Is seen. See is in past participle. The Statue of Liberty is seen by a lot of tourists. The verb be is present. Is? The verb be is present uh -huh. because the sentence is in present. Yeah. But the main verb. Why we use. Uh -huh. The main verb Talk. is past participle. Yeah. Oh. The main verb is past participle. This is the form. Es vista. ¿Verdad? La estatua de la libertad es vista. So, vista is not present. Okay? So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Por ejemplo, the garbage, the garbage is collected every day. Es recogida. Past, part, past participle is collected every day. Okay. okay. Oh, the yeah. the present you. or the past is in the verb be. Okay? Just that. Yes. Yeah. That changes. Okay. Now let me show you another activity to, to work on, on this. Um, I have to show the screen here. here. Okay. Now, look at this paragraph. And... Okay, let, we're going to do it together here, right now. Because I, I'm going to use this as a model for uh, the activity that I want you to do. Let me read it. And you, you have to tell me what is the correct form, okay, of the verb. Um, okay. It says, the statue of David is one of the most famous sculptors in the world. In 1501, the artist Michelangelo gave a block of marble or was given a block of marble. What is the correct answer? What is the correct form, people? Was given. Was given. Was given. Ah, okay. A block of marble. Was given a block of marble. He told to make a sculpture to decorate the cathedral in Florence, or he was told to make a sculpture to decorate the cathedral in Florence. He told. He told. 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 He told. To make the sculpture. Yes. He told. Uh, he was told. Yeah. He was told. He he was was told. told. Somebody told him. Okay. 
He oh, was tall. Uh, all right. He was tall to make a sculpture to decorate the cathedral uh, in yeah, Florence. Okay. The sculpture is a masterpiece. Mm. Michelangelo portrayed the biblical character of David or Michelangelo was portrayed the biblical character of David. Michelangelo portrayed. Portrayed. Was portrayed. 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 Yeah, this is active voice. Because mm -hmm. Michelangelo did that. Michelangelo mm -hmm. portrayed yeah. okay, the biblical character of David. Huh? Mm -hmm. Michelangelo portrayed the biblical character of David in a very different way to artists before him. Goliath doesn't include or isn't included in the sculpture. Isn't included. Isn't, isn't, isn't included. Isn't included. Okay. Goliath isn't included in the sculpture. What experts think or art thought that the sculptor experts think think actually is art experts think that the sculptor shows David before his battle with the giant or is shown David before his battle is shown is shown is shown shows I think shows, shows. Mm -mm -mm. this shows. is active voice shows shows shows, shows David the sculptor shows David before his battle with the giant. Mm -hmm. Okay. After the sculptor finished or was finished, a committee of artists uh -huh. was finished. Was finished. Was finished. Okay. After the sculptor was finished, a committee of artists decided or were decided. 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 They decided, uh huh. Decided to put it in the main square of the town. It was the first time that a sculpture of a naked person exhibited or was exhibited. Was exhibited in a public place since ancient times. Okay, so you see here is there is a combination of simple past passive voice, simple present passive voice, and active voice also. Okay. Simple present, active voice, simple past, active voice. Okay. Now, well, um, I'm going to share this so you can, you can have it do your work later. Um, Okay, let me share this with you. And then I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Okay. okay, let's go back here and I wanna show you this too. Okay, if you see, we have here seven pictures of different wonders of the Some of them are 
wonders of the ancient world and others are wonders of the modern world. Yeah? Okay. So, what I'm going to do... Sorry, teacher, I didn't hear you. Now, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Can you repeat, please? Sorry. <laughs> okay. See these pictures? We have different... As these are called wonders of the some of them are of the ancient world and others are of the modern world okay the great wall of china um the christ Brazil, of yeah. rio de janeiro mm -hmm. it has an, an a, another name uh, well this is machu picchu Tower Eiffel. Um, no, we don't have Tower Eiffel here. So this is the Colosseum in Rome, the Taj Mahal. I think this is the Pyramid of the Sun. And this is a city called Petra. Yeah. We only have 10 minutes. We might not finish this today, but I'm going to... I'm going to uh, give... Well, you're going to work in groups again. I'm going to assign one uh, of these places, of these sculptors or, or these cities. or uh, And I want you to write. You can investigate on the internet. You can do some research. But the idea is that you are going to write a short paragraph like the one I show you about the David of Michelangelo, okay? So you have to write a short paragraph of the, uh, the place that I'm gonna assign you to present it tomorrow, okay? Uh, or we are gonna work on that also tomorrow during the class. Uh, so you, need to you can do some research and bring your information to work together all right so you are going to write a paragraph using the passive voice the active voice and simple past and simple present as we we saw in the paragraph about the david of michelangelo um, do you know what i mean is is that clear yeah, for you? yeah it's clear okay so, yes, teacher. Let me send this picture to WhatsApp. And then I'm going to tell you later what, which one are you going to work with, okay? This. Okay, I'm gonna form the groups, create the groups again. And seven groups. Okay, so you see the pictures have numbers. I'm gonna, Zoom is, has already formed the groups, okay? In group number one, take note will be Anna Molina, Aide Lemus, and Saira Natalie. Okay? You're, you're going to work with the statue of, the, of Christ in Rio de Janeiro. Okay? You're going to work with that. So you have to create a paragraph about that sculpture. Number two... The group is formed by Alexander Marcicano, Andrea Raquelina Velasquez, and Roxana Jasmine. Group number two. This picture number two is a city called Petra. Okay, that city is called 
Petra. Group number three is formed by Ana Gloria, Jennifer Torres, and Mireya Astrid. So you're going to work with picture three, which is the Great Wall of China. Group number four is formed by Claudia O, Elisa Lopez, and Javier Canales. Your picture is number four, Machu Picchu. Group number five is Gabriela Berenice and Jose Mariano Torres. That is the Pyramid of the Sun. The Pyramid of the Sun in Tenochtitlan, I think. Group number six, Hector Misael and Vanessa Torres. Picture number six, the Coliseum in Rome. And group number seven, Fernando Ramos and Karen Mariela. Picture number seven is the Taj Mahal. Okay. Collect information about those places. Okay. And tomorrow we are going to work together and you are going to create the paragraph using sentences with passive voice and active voice. Okay. You... You have the model of the David of Michelangelo, so you, that can give you an idea of what are, you're going to do. And when you finish that, you're going to present it to the class. Okay? That will be tomorrow. Okay. okay. Great. Okay, that's Great. all for today. Teacher. Yes. Okay. Can you repeat, please, the name of number five? The name, oh, is the Pyramid of the Sun. The Pyramid of the oh. Sun. That, I think that's in Mexico. Yeah, in Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, in Tenochtitlan. Any other questions? Teacher, a long, a short paragraph. Sorry? A long or short paragraph? Well, similar as the one I showed you uh, about the, uh, the David. Okay. So not too short, okay. not three lines or not too long. Okay, so. okay perfect, thanks. Okay. Any other question? Yeah. Uh, I can remember my group. Okay, you, the important now is that you uh, gather information and tomorrow you're going to bring together your information and together you're going to create the, the paragraph. All right? So the paragraph, okay. All right. you're going to do the paragraph tomorrow in class. Okay. We'll give you like 15 All right. minutes to it, and then you will have time to present it to the class. All right? Okay. All right. All right. Okay, yeah. people. That's all for today. You. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good, good night. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.